Point to the glove. No. Okay. Memory point once lost key. is now associating pictures yep. with point words. The, pull your leg back. Muscles, once paralyzed, are slowly allowing legs to move and arms to flex. Okay, good. It's been a little over one month since William Cunningham suffered from an ischemic stroke. Ischemic strokes are the most common. They occur when an artery is blocked and brain, the brain is deprived of blood flow. This is it's like a nightmare. I'm like, this is not, no, we've been married 10 months, <laughs> nine months, you're not doing, you can't do this. Current therapies for stroke patients are limited and extremely time sensitive. So when University Hospital's Case Medical Center's Dr. Kathy Sila in Cleveland, Ohio, take some deep breaths in and out, presented William's newlywed wife, Denise, with an alternative option, she didn't hesitate to say yes. And I thought, you know, if this is going to help my husband, any, I'll do anything. William is the first patient at UH Case Medical Center to participate in a new clinical trial of a medication called Multistem for ischemic stroke. The product uses stem cells that are harvested from healthy adult bone marrow donors. The goal is for these cells to serve as a more effective, safer, and more accessible form of therapy for stroke patients. And if we can limit the amount of tissue damage that occurs within a stroke, then there'll be more hope for ultimate recovery for stroke victims. The image on the left shows the swollen tissue and injury at the onset of William's stroke. The scan on the right shows decreased swelling and contracted areas of injury just 30 days later. Multistem is a double-blind study, so neither Dr. Sila nor William know for sure yet if he received the actual medication. All right, take take your time. Get, bring but the each right leg step of so progress. I think that's wonderful. Isn't that great? And right. every nearly audible word. And when has instilled hope in Denise that the stem cells are behind William's rapid road to recovery. We're going to dance July 16th. The day of their one-year anniversary. We're not going to do anything fast. <laughs> we don't want to shock the world. <laughs> Jennifer Guerrero, we'll University Hospital's Case Medical Center News Service, Cleveland, Ohio.